We're now going to epoxy the transducer into the boat. I'm using a two-part epoxy. epoxy. It's exactly the same as what you will get in your kit, but I'm just using a gun for speed. So all we're doing is mixing the epoxy around the thread. You don't want too much. Too much can cause you problems because if it goes on the inside of the thread, you'll never get your transducer in. So we're just using a little bit of epoxy around the edge, like so. Okay. Right. Now we're going to mount the transducer. And it's as simple as this. I'm going to get my acrobatic legs into place. Can you just show us the amount of epoxy there? That's about the amount of epoxy you need to do this installation. Just enough to secure the mounting ring down. Right. We're now going to install the mounting ring. Literally, it is installed directly onto the area that you prepared. Bit of pressure down, and what you're looking for there is a little bit of the epoxy to ooze out the side, as you can see. Perfect. But you don't want any epoxy to ooze into the middle of the thread. That will cause you a problem in a later date when you're trying to screw the transducer in because you need surface to surface contact. That's day one sorted. We now wait for that to dry, which should take about eight hours. So do this day one, come back to it day two, and then we'll go through uh, screwing in the transducer tomorrow morning.